Okay, this video is going to show you how to create a simple rough cut of your movie um, using the pictures that you made from your storyboard. One thing you want to think about is backing up your photos um, that are on your iPad. iMovie takes up a lot of space and the files that it creates takes up even more. So the best thing to do is to back up your uh, photos. Uh, the best way to do this is in Google Drive. So go ahead and click on Google Drive, then click on the menu up in the top left corner. And you'll notice that Google Photos is right there, but you want to click on Settings. So you click on Settings and then click on Photos. And make sure these two top bars are, are blue. Uh, you don't want to change the, uh, the size of the photo that you're going to save. It's best to leave it on high quality. They're not going to be as big, but they're going. it's the free version. In order to check to see the progress, uh, go ahead and click on Photos. And you'll notice I've got 12 left. Um, it's actually backing up a movie right now, so it's going to take a while. Um, when this is done, you can go ahead and delete photos um, on your uh, on your iPad, and that'll free up space. The first thing that you need is to have iMovie installed on your iPad. In order to do that, click self-service, uh, either search for it or, um, or find it on your screen. You'll uh, scroll down until you find multimedia and then click on iMovie. I've already got it installed, um, but you'll just press install and then it'll save to your computer. Now we're finally to the part where we can create a movie. So click on iMovie and uh, create a new project. You're going to create a movie, not a trailer. So you notice it starts right here uh, with my uh, moments that are my uh, the pictures that I took of my storyboard. You can also find them under photos if you have a lot under there. One thing that you'll notice about the photos that you took are in reverse order. So if you haven't already taken your pictures of your um, your storyboards, then um, I would take them in reverse order. It's a little bit annoying, but it's something that you can, uh, that makes the process a little easier. So because I didn't take mine in reverse order, I'm going to just start with the uh, first one. Press create movie under the pictures to get started. And then all you have to do is click on photos and add all of the pictures that you took. Remember, they're in reverse order. Once you have your pictures added, go ahead and go to the front. Add dialog. In order to add dialog, start where start on the uh, the slide where you want to add your dialog, and then click the microphone that you'll notice that it's in the top, in the bottom left corner of the preview screen. And. Uh, then go ahead and click record. Okay class, take out the things that you're gonna need for today's experiment. You can listen to it or you can just go ahead and accept it. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change the length of your picture to fit the length of the audio that you just took. Click on the uh, 
on the picture, or the clip, and then drag it to be the same amount of time as your as your audio. Take another clip. Miss G, we don't have this. Notice mine is a little shorter. Again, select the clip and then drag it to be the same size as your audio. Another thing you're going to want to do is to change the Ken Burns effect. It's a little annoying um, for some pictures. Um, and changing it makes your uh, your storyboard move a little bit smoother. So go ahead and select the clip. And then for this clip, I don't want Ken Burns enabled, so I'm just gonna turn it off. Same with this one. And for this one, I actually want to start uh, zoomed out, but then I want to zoom in on the picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click select the clip and it's it says pinch to start so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the preview frame to be where I want the the frame to start and then I'm going to select the arrow arrow below that and then I'm going to zoom in how I want it to look at the end and then if we go back to the beginning and press play it'll show how that's going to look Go ahead and do this with all of your clips. Make sure that you have all of the audio. What that's gonna do is that's gonna tell you about how long your your PSA is going to be or, your, or how long your, uh, your video is going to be. It'll give you a rough estimate. All right. All right, the last thing that you need to do, go ahead and click done and give your movie a title. Make sure you put rough cut. And then select upload and select Google Drive. So it says copy to Google Drive. That's exactly the, what you want to do. You'll go ahead and select that. And then after it's uploaded, which will take a little while, you're going to go ahead and share it to Google Classroom. So next you're going to click save, just to make sure that it's going to save into your Beaverton account. You'll notice that it's uh, it's uploading right there, and as soon as it's done, you'll upload it to Google Classroom.